music is a great part of every culture around the world. Since the beginning of time, people invented thousands of musical instruments to help themselves share their emotions and stories. And today, Handy Tate Review will try to discover which musical instruments in this magnificent orchestra came from Russia, Ukraine, and Arizona. America has a unique role in the development of world music, simply because here in the U.S., traditional music is composed of different rhythms and styles that come from every corner of the globe. Many musical instruments coming from the old world were rediscovered and given second life here, and some became an inseparable part of American culture. Everybody knows the banjo. It's really associated with the United States. But, as an instrument, it has roots in Africa. For generations, African Americans have helped define many different styles of music that are now popular worldwide. Among them are jazz, blues, gospel, R&B, rock and roll, and hip hop. And at the same time, Arizona has been making its own contribution to American music. Our Arizona music, uh, uh, really, uh, I, I like to think it has three origins. Uh, we have the Native American music that we talked about, and then we have the Mexican mariachi. Um, they, they, they came, brought their music in, and then, as we already mentioned, the, we have the cowboy western uh, type music. The music of Arizona's Native American people is very spiritual and isn't used for simple entertainment. Through their songs, native tribes pass their history, customs and traditions to future generations. Most of Native American languages use the same word for music and dance, as for them one doesn't exist without another. The most common instruments used by southwestern native people were bells, food drums, percussion stones and vessel rattles. But one of the most unique is the Apache fiddle. It is usually made out of agave or mescal plants. Its two strings are made out of horse hair and are played with a bow. People use what is locally available. For example, the uh, material used to um, weave the rattle right here uh, and uses uh, a material called devil's claw. To seal these rattles, they use local creosote. And so people are always adapting local materials. As European settlers traveled west, they brought with them their music and traditions. And as cattle ranching became one of the main industries in Arizona, the music of cowboys became the most popular genre in this region. Many of the first cowboys in Arizona were Irish, so much of their music was just modified Irish drinking songs. Even though Hollywood Western movies show cowboys with guitars, in reality just a few hours in the hot desert sun would bend those guitar bodies out of tune or simply crack them. So cowboys had to look for other, more durable instruments. You could have a mouth harp, uh, which uh, is sometimes referred to as a Jew's harp, and it just has a, a string that you twang, kind of twang. You get kind of a beat, a rhythm with it, and um, you get. Uh, a, a, but but the harmonica you could just stick in your pocket, and you could just play whatever you wanted. And Oh, way out in Arizona where the bad men are And the only thing to guide you is an evening star The music of Native Americans and hard-working cowboys have each defined modern Arizona culture. But there are many more genres that are popular among today's young people and students. I listen to a wide variety of music, actually, all the way from classical to semi-modern. I'm stuck in the, my parents' age of Fleetwood Mac and Pink Floyd and Beatles and you know, 60s, 70s genre. Arizona's got a big rap scene from what I see, a lot of uh, rap and metal rock, a lot of good metal shows, but a lot of gangster rap. Music's the biggest part of my life, aside from family and friends, I mean music's what I want to do. And now, 180 View will take you to the other side of our planet to see what musical instruments were invented in Russia. Reporting for the 180 View, this is Nadia Petrick. Get all your sports insight through Inside Maricopa Sports. From football to track, baseball to soccer, Inside Maricopa Sports brings you college sports all through the Maricopa District. 
meet up-and-coming players, and hear from the coaches. Tune in to Inside Maricopa Sports, only on MCTV, Cox Cable, Channel 115. For times, go to our website at maricopa.edu slash mctv. In the District is the best source when you need to find out about what's going on throughout the Maricopa College's district. If it's an event or activity you plan for, depend on, or that helps shape your life, then In the District will get you connected. Find out the latest information about must-see games, fascinating activities, interesting speakers. Tune in to In the District only on MCTV Cox Cable Channel 115. For times, go to our website at maricopa.edu slash mctv. You know what I learned in college? You can save a lot of money by going to a community college before transferring to a four-year school. I think that deserves an A+. Discover yourself at the Maricopa Community Colleges, maricopa.edu. As Gendelan Fea said, music is the universal language of mankind, and it really does. When words are not enough, music comes. The history of Russian musical creativity takes its sources in the end of the first millennium Anno Domini. In Annals and Legends, in many works of foreign medieval writers, there are a lot of mentions of Russian people's passion for music. The gusli is one of the oldest national musical instruments. The major power of the gusli is described in many Russian fairy tales. It made people leave their walk and start dancing. The first authentic mentions of the gusli were found in historical sources of the 5th century. The gusli was played by heroes of Russian epos, Dapriny Nikitich and Sadko. The gusli is a small portable instrument. It is played by clanking with the right hand on the strings. The left hand is covering the strings that aren't sounding. The function of the gusli was changed during the centuries. In the beginning it was used as an accompaniment for storytellers, then it was united into ensembles and used in orchestras. The accordion is one of the most perfect among chromatic harmonies existing today. The true origin of this instrument isn't known yet. Probably it was invented in St. Petersburg in 1783, but also there is an assumption that the harmonic appeared in Germany in the 19th century. Nevertheless, most Russian people believe the accordion to be a native Russian musical instrument. Firstly, it was small, a small instrument which had only several buttons. And in the end of the 19th century, it looked just like the way you can see it now. The harmonic is an instrument for playing traditional native music. The balalaika is one of the symbols of Russian musical culture. The first mention of this instrument dates back to the times of Peter the Great. During the 19th century, it was widely spread among Russian people. The balalaika became so popular that it is believed to have an ancient Slavic origin. Easy, amusing, cheerful sounding of the balalaika cheers up perfectly. The instrument is very special. Three strings, two of which are tuned in unison. You can pretend it yourself. There isn't much opportunities. But actually, it can... And it is played without a mediator, without anything, with the fingertips simply. Sometimes it seems to be painful. It seems to be painful, but it isn't. Many years passed and new instruments appeared, but the interest in native Russian music will never die away.